everyone, and welcome to the Narcosis channel. And let's continue the third ECG subject, ECG grid and normal values. And we will continue the second way to enjoy our life as Albert Camus said in his book, The Six Ways to Enjoy Your Life. Real generosity towards the future lies in giving all to the present. In the last lectures, we have talked about the ECG grid. In this lecture, we will start to talk about the normal values, and we will start with the normal P wave. The P wave is a small rounded wave produced by atrial depolarization. In fact, it reflects the sum of right and left atrial activation, the right preceding the left, since the pacemaker is located in the right atrium. The P wave is normally upright in most of the ECG leads with two exceptions. In lead AVR it is inverted, and in lead V1 biphasic. Why P wave in this two leads is not positive? In lead AVR, it is inverted along with inversion of the QRS complex and the T wave, since the direction of atrial activation is away from this lead. As this lead looks to the heart from the right upper limb, as it has two electrodes, the positive one located in the right arm, and the negative one located in the center of Eindhoven Triangle at the Wilson's central terminal point. So as the atrial activation is away from this lead, it draws the P wave as negative wave. Then why P wave in lead V1 is biphasic? Most of chest lead look to the heart from the apex and in the direction of atrial activation, so they will draw a positive P wave in most of chest leads. In lead V1, it is generally biphasic, that is, upright, but with a small terminal negative deflection, representing left atrial activation in a reverse direction. So, to explain this clearly, we have the right atrial activation toward the chest lead V1, and this will draw a large positive wave at the binging of P wave. Then we have the left atrial activation, which goes slightly to the left, away from the lead V. One, it draws small negative wave after the positive wave. So, when we look to the ECG paper, we will see that all leads will have a positive P waves, except in lead V, one where it is generally biphasic, and in lead AVR, where it is totally negative wave. Normally, the P wave has a single peak, without a gap or notch between the right and left atrial components. A normal P wave meets the following criteria, less than two and half millimeter or less than two and half small squares, which equals to 0 0.25 millivolt in height. When ECG grid is set on that one millivolt equal 10 millimeter, that equal to 10 small squares. Less than two and half millimeter or less than two and half small squares which equals to 0 0.10 second in width. When ECG grid is set on that one second equal 25 millimeter, that equal to 25 small squares. So we have finished the ECG grid and the normal P wave value, and we will continue our talk about the normal ECG values in the next videos. And now let's jump to the question of this day. What does M-shaped P wave mean? Thanks for watching. I will be more than grateful if you press the like, subscribe button and share this video with your colleagues. If you have any suggestions to improve my channel, leave a comment and let me know please. See the description below for the newest updates and for more infos. Also, don't forget to follow us on other social media sites. Keep your narcotic dose and good luck.